Let's go, all right. Hi, I'm the Survivor, and as we mentioned, we're going to be showcasing you Driver 2. Uh, I have Viper with me, so go ahead and introduce. Yep. Hello, uh, I'm Viper. I also run this game, as well as many other racing games, but yeah, enough of that about me. All right, so yeah, this is going to be, <laughs> uh, because the incentive got met, this is going to be a hard difficulty speed run, which is going to make, unsurprisingly, the run much, much more harder. Uh, we'll more explain what uh, changes during the run and exactly, but as you can see, this is on hard difficulty. And as one last thing, uh, I have a job for the audience, both at home and here, back here. Uh, I decided to set a little challenge. So for every unintentional car crash I get into, I'm going to donate a dollar. So please, everyone here, try to keep count of how many uh, accidents I get into. That's your job for, this, for the run. Anyway, with all that said, let's go. So in three, so you're on the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So three, two, one, go. I'm off. And we're skipping cutscenes. They are indeed. Right. right. So Driver 2. So this is a, originally a PS1 game. Uh, got released in 2000, right? Something mm -hmm. like that, along those lines? Yep. Uh, it, it was a sequel, unsurprisingly, to Driver 1. It's a 3D, 3D open world driving game. A bit like GTA, but back then GTA was still in this top-down uh, scene. Uh, it didn't go 3D until like GTA 3 on the PS2. So this was like much before uh, uh, the old 3D, uh, game, 3D driving game came through. Especially in towns, because obviously you had like Gran Turismo and stuff like that, but like 3D driving in a city, uh, that was brand new. And Drive Around brought that, and this was the sequel. It brought like curved roads, like uh, uh, more cars, the ability to go out of your car, which was not an option in the first game. Uh, it had a lot of stuff to, uh, to the game. Unfortunately, it didn't review all that well because of a main issue, the lag. On PS1, this game is miserable to play. It runs at like F speed most of the time. <laughs> And it's sometimes less than 10. Yeah, like in Chase the Gunman, it's, <laughs> it goes at like 10. It, it goes in slow-mo, which kind of makes the run become this. You just go like that and look at walls. It's not really fun, honestly. Uh, but uh, now you might be wondering, well, what is this then? Why You said you don't enjoy it. Why are you running this thing? Well, this is not the PS1 driver, uh, driver game. This is not the uh, emulator either. This is actually ReDriver 2. So this is where the ReDriver thing comes through. This is a fan-made port of the PS1 game to PC. This is completely from uh, from the ground up. Just kidding, there. That doesn't count, by the way. That's intended. So that's not a dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's intentional. I'll, I'll point it out when they're not intended. Whoops. There we go. Yeah. So there's a few things while survivors chasing the the sedans. There's a few things to mention. Um, so in 2020, the driver community, more specifically a man by the name of Soapy, uh, decided yeah. it would be a good idea to reverse engineer Driver 2, hence the reason how we've got it on PC. Now this is free, so the only thing you actually need to do is you do need to provide uh, an ISO or IMG image. Yep. Uh, sorry, yeah, image file. You need, uh, you need actual CDs. You do CDs. actually need to provide the game files. You can't just, you know, and, and, and play it and everything. Um, but what you can do is, as you can see, so there's a few additions here, so whilst I was doing this, I might as well talk about it. Uh, so you've obviously got visuals that have been enhanced, I guess. They're upscaled to up to 1080p. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think you can push it any higher than that, can you? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah you can. Like, oh, maybe you can. Uh, like there is, you can get set at any resolution you want. The render distance is higher. Yeah. There's a skip cutscene, as you can tell. Button. There's a, as you can see now, there's an autosave system. So for all those that have a bit of a pain in the backside, yep. Yeah. Auto saves in this game. Yep. Uh, uh, you'll notice that there is a so the subtitle system. Now this is a, an interesting one. So the subtitles were in the original game in the movie files. However, they weren't in the actual in-game cutscenes. Oh really? Uh, I didn't know so that. So if you go, if you watch like the, the movie clips and things like that, I never and you, you that. turn subtitles on, the subtitles are in the movie clips. But if you have the like now, how you heard at the start Jones was talking about chasing a train or something like yep. that. Them audio lines don't actually have subtitles, so there you go. Um, so just kind of run through the story a little bit. So we're going to be th going through four cities. We're going to start in Chicago, as you can see. We're then going to go over to Havana, uh, then to Vegas, and then to Rio uh, to finish it off. Now, the story is... This is just for fun, by the way. Oh, okay, all right. Um, this <laughs> Did you have so much time in this mission, so I just swapped car there for the sake of it. I mean, you didn't get a cup car. I mean, um, the funny thing is as well, so let's we quickly talk about this. So, um, yeah, the, the way that the story goes is there's a guy by the name of Pink Lenny. Um, he's involved with a gang run by a guy called Vasquez, I think it is. Um, yeah. And, uh, uh, there's another guy in here by the name often. of Solomon Kane. Um, plus. plus. 
Uh, so there's a, a guy in here by the name of Solomon Kane. So him and Vasquez basically are two massive gang bosses, I guess, um, that want to both That's like hard. try and beat the other into submission. You know, like they both got a gang. They both want to make sure that one comes out on top of the other. Um, and Pink Lenny just happens to be stuck in the middle of them both, and it's our job to find this Pink Lenny uh, and uh, yeah, see how we get on. So we're going to. Oh, by the way, this Once is an exclusive glitch. glitch for this uh, version because usually it's the same as the PS1 version, but this is an exclusive glitch. You can't just drive under it and hit the checkpoint, it counts. Oh, we got a good pattern, thank Lord. Yeah, so there's a few missions like this as well, which are literally pretty good times for, well, just kind of talking and in general and relaxing. Yeah, it's not a lot Chicago to too. Yeah, there's, there really isn't too much to it. Um, this is just tailing, so... Point A to B. You see the proximity meter? You do, I need to keep it, like, in the middle. If it goes to one side or the other, I fail. So just don't don't go too close, don't go too far. Just follow him. It's So I'm go obviously, there's multiple patterns that the AI can take, because he's on a... He's basically on the rail. He has infinite mass, he's doing the same thing every time. And the traffic is also the same every time in these missions. Like, it's pretty much programmed with the... Uh, with the uh, when they did the they recorded this uh, drive through there's uh, also a couple of things as well that we need to mention so uh, one of the things that we do need to kind of clarify as well um is that even though you can hear right now you've got driver 2 music in here you can actually modify the game um and put in a driver 1 soundtrack yep uh, so all the music changes to the driver 1 soundtrack so if driver 1 was more your jam which it is for me uh, then you can put that in place of Driver 2. Not to say Driver 2 soundtrack is crap or I'm anything. I'm just used to it, so... But yeah, you, you can have like both Driver 1 music in Driver 2 and vice versa. Okay, um, here's a little trick. I'd probably watch out. No, it's fine, it's intended, because I need to get quite close, because I need to do this. Okay, that was pretty close. It's Ooh. fine, it's all part of the plan. So, uh, the ending point of the mission, thankfully, is still based on me. So, if I can get ahead of him and reach the end before he does, well, the mission's gonna end quicker, so that's in my favor. Oh, anyway, yeah, so. this oh. is where hard difficulty cops are gonna come through. Hopefully, so they don't are yeah. too bad. I guess you can explain what they, what's special about them on this difficulty. Ooh, yeah, that's so, <laughs> in, the, in the, so the police chases for Driver 2 can oh. be a bit ruthless. Oh, we only lost one. Uh -oh. Um, oh, that's not too bad. No, that's quite bad, actually, for this oh. <laughs> That's a, Never mind, that's I stay encrypted. Um, that's three. three. I'm going to say, okay, this is going to rack fine. up pretty fast. The, the guy's going to spawn here, though, that's the issue. Okay, right, he, he turned himself around. Uh, maybe yeah, not. So, the police in, so, the, the difficulty, it says, like, game difficulty, it's more like cop difficulty, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, on easy, they are literally Oop, very easy. Another. No dollar. And another. And another. <laughs> That's going to so, get expensive quick, apparently. Yeah. So, with the easiest cop difficulty, obviously, it's uh, relatively what it uh, says on the um, Okay. <laughs> then you get AI that do this. But, yeah, obviously, the harder the difficulty, the harder the AI. Not, uh, not only are the AI faster on the hard difficulties, they are also more invincible, can we call it? Yeah, they have more health. They're not... They're not Completely invincible. But they have more um, help, pretty much. But they are, yeah, they, they are ruthless. Um, okay. So everything's kind of turned up to 11 with this run. But for the most part, Chicago doesn't really give us too many problems. No, it's not too bad. But um, yeah, like, as you can see, they're really close to me. Because yeah. how the game, like, handles the cop car is that they make... Uh, the cop car will speed up to catch you up. But as soon as they're close to you, they'll slow down and match your speed. Depending on your felony. If you have enough felony, like I'm currently at, like, I'm pretty much full. At that point, oh, that wasn't interesting. <laughs> nice. Yeah, ex expect We're not going in that crash. crash, are we? No, that doesn't count. Well, that's, 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 that, that was that. That's me. That's coming out the police retirement. Yeah, exactly. That that's, they can pay that one. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, no. Oh. Like what was I was saying, like they're gonna match your speed. The thing is, the, if you, your family goes about like half, more than halfway, uh, instead of slowing down when they do, they'll keep going at full speed and ram you if you like slow down to make a corner or anything. So you do need to try to manage your family and keep it as low as possible, because at around 20% you get two cop cars spawning, at around 40% you start to get roadblocks, like those. Uh, oh, and the difficulty also changed the roadblock. Uh, the higher the difficulty, the, uh, the like more condensed the roadblocks are. The funny thing is as well, so... Also here's a nice feature. Well, yeah, you get so the, the you get these two. This is it. Yeah, go on, sorry. Was that what you were going to explain? Yeah. Um, okay, well, go ahead then. Well, there was that, and also, um, so, for the most part, another. anyway. <laughs> there we go. Right, Whoops. yeah, so, for the most part, um, the uh, the police have, like, a, should we call it, like, a radius about where the endpoint yeah. is, I'd Oh, say. that's a bad pattern. We're not doing that. Yeah, so whilst Survivor's doing this mission, um, so oh, there sure. is... Get in. Basically, like, in most missions, there is... Speed! We, I don't know, we'll call it, like, a... 
an end point exclusion okay. zone where police are basically told to back off. So even if they're chasing you 100 miles an hour, they actually have to back off. Yeah, I think so you can beat the mission. But in a fair few missions, which you might see, um, what will end up happening is that the police will not lose you and they will keep chasing you. And it really is cop RNG. So you do have to be careful in that regard. Yeah. Um, another thing is as well, so the guy is in the blue car at the moment, by the way. So you, at this point in the story, um, we found out that Pink Lenny's got uh, a lot. I think he's got like he's working with a few henchmen or something. Yeah, like he's an that. accountant for both for everyone now, and, and most um, the Vasquez, I think. I haven't seen the story in so long. When we went to that safe house, so when we followed this Brazilian guy, uh, it turns out that. Um, there was a bunch of documents in some boxes. So it turns out that they were completely fake. Um, and the guy that gave us the information to look oh, yeah. into, you know, about regarding what was going on, um, it was a case of, oh, oh dear, uh, they're all fake, so we can't use them. Um, but we can also get them done for it. Obviously, they think, right, well, we'll probably end up having a pro point where, well, in one part or another, yeah, okay, it's all fake, we can't do anything, but we can't actually bring him up on any charges, that sort of thing. So, when you get okay. chased back to the safe house, you get back, basically, your hotel, your apartment, whatever. Um, the guy in the blue car, coming up to the point, going full circle, uh, is a guy called Jericho. Now, Jericho is a reoccurring character in the Driver series, apart from Tanner himself and also Jones. Um, Tanner was in uh, pretty much most of the Driver games by a few. Jericho has been in, okay. I think this is his first appearance in the series, Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Um, also, I'll whilst we're talking your... about this, um, yeah. so Jericho is a henchman of Kane. Kane has a compound because during the end of the last mission, the start of this one, Kane decided it'd be a good idea. Basically, we followed him into this compound and realized, wait a minute, we're, we're trapped, basically. Yeah, this uh, is a maze, but as you can see, yeah. uh, they haven't, in, in their mind, they were expecting you to like drive around and say, oh, this block is, this pad is blocked, I'm gonna go around. Yeah, you can just run the van out of the way and just go through. Yeah. It's much quicker than like doing the actual like, quote unquote intended route. Unfortunately, there's a one part that there's a specific trick that we need that I'm gonna have to do to get out. I don't guarantee you I'm gonna get it because it's pretty precise and my plan to do it is still just eyeball it. So, yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> Oh, we can try. Yeah, well, we'll definitely try, but... Oh, that's a wall. Another dollar. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there's going to be a bit of crashing there, so that doesn't count, but... I'm going to try to clip through that little gap over there. Like, behind me. Between yeah. the semi-truck and the, the wall. The semi-truck is not a vehicle, it's just... Ooh, hi there, fella. Guess we're going for a donut spin. There we go. Yep. Okay, come with me. Uh, this is not a vehicle, this is basically a wall. I'm gonna try to get in, get the van to squeeze me through here, please work. Hello, thank you. There we go. Nice. Woo! Okay, you have no idea how this, how much uh, that trick uh, scared me, because this is so hard to get. Yeah, so norm normally when we do the run, by the way, just as a, a quick heads up, normally we play the run on the easiest difficulty. Obviously, easiest is, well, the fastest. Yeah, because they have so the hardest for Not just for survival, but for anybody, it makes it way more harder. Uh, something we notice during practice as well is the fact that for some odd reason, that particular cut seems to be a bit more difficult on hard because the, the van, the, the camera and the van is a bit like all over the place. It's normally yeah, like slightly see, yeah. above so you can see. Like you can but, see, I yeah. couldn't see where I was going. So that's why it's a bit hard. You, can, you kind of just need to line it, eyeball it, and then adjust it just from, fe that just from feel. Close. That was terrifying. Okay. So this is rain physics. Uh, it's just slightly here. It doesn't do much. In fact, it's almost easier for you because the AI cannot drive to save the life in Speaking the rain. of which, there's a good few things we can probably mention at this point. So weather effects was in the original Driver 1. They were upped a little bit in Driver 2. Um, there was various different times of day in Driver 2 as well compared to Driver 1. Um, you did have day and night, um, and apart from Los Angeles, which I think was in night only. Yeah. However, because of the community and again the reverse engineering, now Driver 2 did have different times of day, but Thanks to the PC port and the community efforts around it, uh, you're actually able, in this version, you're actually able to not just select day and night, but you're oh. also able to select dawn and... What's oh, the other one? that's early to lose them. because I I'm think gonna... like early morning, something like that. Yeah, I need to go through an intersection, and I kind of don't want to deal with these, with these guys, but they despawn quite... Uh, yeah, okay, uh, should be fine. Should yeah. be fine. Yeah, I can just go do that. Okay, yep. Yeah, so it's like, I think it's like early morning, late evening or something yeah, like that, but there's a day and, and a night cycle. Um, and if you pick them on take a ride and you're driving for long enough, um, 
the if you're sorry if you're driving at dawn, it will start to go into daytime and vice versa. It'll start yeah, to go just nighttime. Yeah, make it more visually interesting. Which is quite cool. It's not something that we're really too fussed about for the speed run, but it is uh, like a, a neat little feature that's in the game. It's Again, got a new feature. Remember PS1 game. So like the fact that the daylight, uh, the sun came up on this game was like, oh my god. If... Oh, you can even put the time. You can even put the weather as well. That's something you couldn't pick in the original PS1. So game. Yeah, like for PS1 standard, that was pretty impressive. Obviously, that one is like, well, what's the big issue? And I think one last thing definitely is worth a massive mention um, is that there is a modding community at yep. Driver 2. Uh, people have modded in, like, the fonts have been modded, the, the cars, the engine sounds. One thing in particular that we can both talk of from experience, there is an entire mod pack by yeah. the old mod pack. And that turns the game up, even on the easiest difficulty, it turns the game up to 11. Um, basically... In the first mission, you don't get any cops whatsoever. Also, like Chicago, done and dusted. Oh, that's pretty not good. I mean, eh, for my um, standards, it's not, but I'll, I'll take it. For Marathon, it's good enough. I got all the tricks. That's the important bit. But yeah, the old mod pack good, is good, just good. ridiculous because they have uh, you have like a load of police chasing you on the first mission, which you don't normally have. The amount of police you can have chasing you at one time is up from like four to six in the finale. It's oh, just, it's chaotic. It's insane. Um, and the thing is as well, if I remember correctly as well, so you did a run for Macrathon of this, didn't you? Yeah. And it was the hard, it was the old mod pack. I think was it on the hardest difficulty? No. No. Because <laughs> we used to be Ooh. there. Well, I think when you you played it casually, it was on the hardest I, difficulty. Casually, I did it on hard. It took like three days. Yeah, it's one of them games. Like. Oh, I'm still close. Young. Okay, uh, so this is another tailing mission. So there's not much happening. So if you had any anything you want to mention, uh, go ahead. All I'll mention is that we replaced Matako because we don't believe that he's cool enough to, to host for this run. So, <laughs> hello everybody, my name is Skemi, you can call me Paul, I'll be with you for the Driver 2 run. Uh, don't forget all of the donations that are coming in will go to Alzheimer Fonden, Sweden's national fundraising charity for Alzheimer's and dementia related diseases. And don't forget, when you make a donation, on the right hand side of the donation screen, make sure you assign it to an incentive. It's over on the right hand side. If you're on mobile, you have to scroll across. If you're on desktop, you should see it, but still make sure you do it. Also, I wonder where the Scottish accent went. I say Scottish accent. Is it, sorry, Irish accent. I, I can't. definitely Irish. Oh, um, dear. I'll make sure to tell him you Irish that. accent. There we go. I'll get it eventually. Sorry, the war day. I don't know. So, how, yeah. many, how many crashes are we at currently? 13? Oh, not too bad. Not doing too bad. 13 bucks. I'll start a counter over here. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. So we're at 13. I mean, the, the audience already, uh, already has that job, but sure, you're going to hold it. Okay, so again, same deal as the previous... Oops, I need to skip. Uh, same deal as the previous uh, mission. I'm getting ahead of him uh, just to end the mission as quick as possible to hit the trigger. Okay, now we start getting in the bad hard bit. Is this the bad pattern? No, this is a good one. Okay, on... Oh, no, wait, this oh, is the bad it? pattern. <laughs> Never mind. Are we sure? Okay, so I don't want pattern that goes to the right, because I need to take that van and drive it to a uh, camp town. He's not right again. No, this no, is the right one. Okay. Yeah, there's two 330, that's the issue. Okay, so hard difficulty is going to be pretty painful, because the guy chasing me is pushing me into him. Which uh, is convenient for one thing, but bad for another. Yeah, okay, I just need to hit him once, I think. Speed, come on, do your job. Eventually. The truck, Okay, there okay we now go. I just okay, kill this guy. I'm... There we go. That's, uh, a good, that's, a good, I, that's a good hit. This is another oh, reason God. why we speedrun on uh, row on easy, because on easy they have way less health. It's, honestly, it's the main reason, because... That's the truck. That's the yeah, no. There we there go. There we go. Okay, cool. And I think with, when you are, you're chased by the cops or by pursuer in this case, uh, you're not allowed to leave the car. That, that's how you, in fact, can fail uh, like a mission if your car gets destroyed while you're getting chased. Uh, so I need to actually take him out before I can leave the car and get in the van. And now I can deliver it. But that's why... Uh, like the previous pattern that went to the right, that's why they want you to use it, because as you see, I'm going to the left of the of where we spawn, so going to the right, it obviously just add a bunch of driving that I don't, I don't want to do. So I'm going to send you there, thank you. Yeah, so this is another thing as well, so during this mission, as if it wasn't hard enough that you had to take the truck down, you also have to escape any henchmen in it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's a terrible exactly. introduction to like destruct mission, destru uh, destruction mission, like it's way too hard, like you have an uh, angry like pursuer to deal with, you need to keep the fan healthy, you need to then deliver in the it, next mission, while pursuer still spawns. Yeah, the, so this one's difficult, but the next one is even worse, so the next one is stop the truck. I think this one is Xbox. worse, honestly. <laughs> is it? I, I'd personally, I think this one is worse, honestly. Okay, so get out, press the button, get in, get out. Tanner, get out, thank you. But yeah, I think one other thing as well, just whilst we're talking, <laughs> like Driver 2 and everything as well, 
um, is that we probably should give a mention to Red Ricky as well, who yep. oh, good did a fair few good, uh, fair few good runs as well. Yeah, good video um, of mine. Did and, some uh, speed on this. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to Red Ricky. He couldn't be here unfortunately, but um, yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. Nice, we got the good cycle. Ooh. It's fine, that's what I want. I just want to get out ASAP. Yeah. So I so like, we'll, use the E brake we'll. and spin at the same time. So if your car is like in the air, the uh, tanner just get out of the car instantly, even if there's like momentum to it. Else you need to actually like stop the car to get out. Yeah, so sure, I think probably now will be a good time to talk about patterns, really. Yeah. Realistically. So in each chase mission, there is a certain amount of patterns, not saying it's like a set amount. Uh, but the timer is usually gives it away of about what. Yeah, that's what we're is. using to tell which pattern we got. And yeah. Just to know, okay, is this a good one? So this one's like the best one to get for this one. Yeah. There's two patterns. There's like four patterns. There's a 141, a 147, and 148, and a 150. I use the 150 and the 147 because in those two I can do what I just did. Uh, like park my car in the front of him and just get like, like balance on him sort of. And that just racks up damage and just makes it uh, just destroy him pretty quickly. Also, once you get past, so once you stop the truck and you do this. Uh, this bit is actually a cakewalk, so it's, it's yeah. not, you won't have to worry about police chasing you or any enemy cars or anybody like that. Yeah, thankfully in this, in this mission, compared to the first one, the one before, there, there's no person responding, so it's just you this, and this the... This is now uh, uh, Havana Truck Simulator. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is, a is it a truck or a lorry? What would you call uh, it? A van, let's <laughs> need some leader. <laughs> it's a van, I don't know. Like, what... It's not that big, to be fair. Yeah, so I think... Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else as well. Uh, yeah. About patterns? Yeah, uh, so with, with patterns as well, it's not, like I said, it's not just a case of chase missions, it's also tailing missions. You may have seen yeah. Survivor Reset a couple of times already. Uh, but there is a reason for that, mainly because of the fact that if you get a bad pattern, you take too long, and yeah, it's all about, obviously, we're yeah, here for speed running. At I guess we did in Chicago. Like, in Chicago, in the long mission where, where we should follow the blue, we well, we'll chase the blue car more specifically, uh, you saw, like, I got a, f a first pattern that was 2 minute 10, and I reset for that. Uh, obviously, in those missions, there's not much I can do apart from just following. There's no destruction, so I need to just get the quickest one possible, and 2 minute 10 is way too cool, too slow, so I just reset and just get a quicker pattern. Uh, nope, Ooh. I didn't want to get in, I just want to press the button, Tanner. There we go. Okay, that was sloppy, but sure. Okay, so that's another hard mission, and now to an even harder one. Because <laughs> Avana's hell, the start of Avana is miserable. Here's the buzz, Tanner. Four oh, cars. It was a buzz. Yeah, it was a buzz. Well, sure. Okay, so I need to destroy but... four cars, except this time the cars have uh, AI. They're driving by themselves, and they don't have infinite mass like we just... Ooh, okay. Like what we just saw. So this is probably going to be shown where the uh, price counter is going to go pretty hot, pretty high. I was going to say as well, like, this is this is the other thing as well. So there are missions where you need to destroy vehicles legit, not just grind up against them. Like yeah, because in the do. chase mission, they have infinite mass. So you kind of just... Okay. You kind of just, like, rub your car against the other car and slowly rack up the uh, damage bar. But in this mission, I actually need, like, to ram, like, how you would think how to destroy another vehicle. Also, the other thing as well is the next mission is connected to where you finish this. Yep. So if you're when you're doing a run of this, uh, left, run of this, left. oh, left. thank you. This so when is you, good. When you're doing a run of this, your time overall isn't decided by this one mission. It is decided by the whole mission and the next one. So, for example, it's like on. on one hand you might be able to beat this. Sneeze on him once. There you go. There, the you go. there we go. So one down, three to go. Oh, better. Um, if you can get in the car, there we go. Eventually. Um, also, this is the other thing as well. You have to beat all four cars. You can't, like, go for the one at the end because it hasn't spawned yet. You yeah. have to say each car. This is the painful part. I really wish you the mission wasn't like this, where it was like, here's four cars, go after the one that's got you it. You can make a mistake and just really um, mess up the, uh, the run, because, like, all the cars always spawn at the same spot, and they, when they're off screen, they always try to drive for the same spot. When they're on screen, they're still trying, but they fail most of the time because they really can't drive. So most of the time they just they get lost. Also, speaking of bad AI driving, get in. There we go. Nice. This is really good, honestly. Speaking of bad AI driving, one of the main ones um, that is an absolute pain is is called find the clue. Okay, this is actually kind of um, bad. He's going so... next to the other guy where he's going to spawn. Oh, he's trying. Okay, now he's going away, so that's fine. Let's turn right, or is it not? Uh, he's, he's supposed to, but he might just fail it. Like I said, the AI sometimes just oh, that's good. There, there we go. We go. Nice. Uh, by the way, the damage, how does it count? It counts if you hit him, and if they take damage right after, it's also count. But anything else, like if they crash in a car by themselves and you, you didn't do anything, that doesn't count. That won't give them any damage. 
Also, only thing you do yourself. For me, this is my favorite car in Havana. I don't know why. I absolutely love the sound of it. There is a car in GTA 5, I believe, that also sounds very similar, believe it or not. I don't know what the car was called, but yeah. I remember having it on one of the online games. Either way, sorry. Back to driver. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fine. I kind of want him to drive near the next car, because if I'm too far away, it's going to be a, a bit of a pain. Okay, well, that's good enough for my standards. There we are. Uh, I'm going to move the car, because I'm scared I was going to soft like there. Oh, there we are. Oh, never mind. I was going to get out the other side. Because, yeah, you can... The hitbox to get in a car and the hitbox to get out of the car is not the same. So you can get in the car and get stuck in it. And obviously that car is already, like, dead. So it doesn't drive anymore. So you're just soft lock. You're just stuck in the car and just waiting to... Well, you have to reset straight up the mission. The game won't actually fail you. It'll let, it'll let the mid-diamond go down. But you'll... You won't be able to play, so you have to re restart the mission. One one bug that I did actually get during this mission um, a while ago was I accidentally flipped the last car onto its side when I wrecked yeah. it, and it failed the mission. Normally the car tips onto its wheels, but for some reason it just didn't. Oh, it failed? Yeah. I never had that. It, it counted as a mission fail because it was on its side, but then didn't flip oh. over, and I was like, shouldn't it just flip? But either okay. way, yeah, physics are a bit more different on this game compared to the original. That's something I need to um, worry about then, because I never yeah. had that. It's happened like once or twice, but nothing like too concerning. Okay, um, so we need thing, to catch this guy. One Maybe? thing we can mention um, about this game, by the way, is that the damage model is way more lenient. Um, it doesn't seem <gasps> like it, okay. but it is. Um, in Driver 1, you could rub a wall or rub a car, and your damage rate would just fill to the top. Whereas on this one, it's like, no, you actually need to hit them. Um, also, ooh, where's he going? I don't think he knows either. That generally isn't too bad. We've, I think we got him stuck. That's pretty good. And you also got battered too. Okay, nice. that's a pretty good nice. final clue. I'm happy with that. 247 is more than good. Nice. Okay, and like we said, we... Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa. <laughs> hey, we got that glitch! Physics, whoa, okay. okay. I'm gonna get out of this car, because that car got beat up. That's not at all. <laughs> unless you want to count it, I guess. I'm, glad, I'm actually quite glad we got that one. Okay, so yeah, this is an issue with the... Uh, uh, this game, sometimes there's two cars that spawn instead of one, uh, so you just fly it into <laughs> space. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that's the first time I've seen that happen for quite some time. Yeah, same. It's been a while since I got that. I kind of forgot about it. But yeah, sometimes there's, instead of one car, there's two cars spawning. Yeah, so this is the reason why I was saying, when we were saying before, with um, with your, with your t up or down on time, you won't know until you've beaten this mission because... Yeah, it's dependent on where you finished. Yeah. And obviously, oh, so how far you've got to get from one to the other. Boat jump, I'm going to slow down because I don't want to beam the car in the water. Okay. It's quite easy to overshoot or miss the boat. I've done it. I lost a run to missing the boat. And that's actually a mission, by the way, yeah. Yeah, that's and it. that's... Let me tell you, yeah. it's quite frustrating to lose a world record run when you're... Because you just overshot the boat. So okay. That, that grey car, by the way, that we've just gone past, uh, just quickly pointing this out. So on the PS1 version, that's the only time you'll actually see... A, well, actually, no. I take that back. There's another one coming. But you see that in the PS1 version, it's like, oh, okay, there's... That's a dollar. There you go. That's another. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the, the grey colour on the cars is not something you actually see much of in Havana. You're like, you saw it in Chicago, the car was grey. But in Havana, it's not a common colour. Um, not amongst traffic anyway, or even regular cars. Not in the PS1 version. No, in this version, they swapped it, though, because we saw, just saw like, one. The, yeah, they introduced it into the actual colour palette. So, believe it or okay. not, now you can actually get grey cars. It's a silly little gimmick that I thought I'd mention, but, like, yeah, it wasn't in the PS1 version. So that was a oh, somewhat a new jump. addition as well. Yeah, there's some tweak like that, just, like, colour, just... Also, fixed, like, world's best police roadblock. The yeah. actually just was like hijacking anything. It was like, yeah, we'll just use trucks, cars, whatever we can get around. Yeah, I, I think it's supposed to look like a car accident with the cops like attending, but that's the only time it happens in this game. I, I, uh, I don't know. I think it might have been like, like some set pieces they tried to add it and ran out of time because this game was quite rushed. So there's a lot of corners being cut everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, ni nice and easy. I mean, most of the missions, by the way, for I think it's. For those that haven't played Driver or the Driver series as a whole, the first two games in particular, I'm not really 100% sure with the third oh, one, so I have to kind of go back with the third one, um, is that uh, most of, of, of the missions involve literally driving from A to B. They're, they're nothing like too difficult. I mean, the police are the main factor in a Driver game. Well, they're not too bad until you play on hard, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, uh, they, are, okay, like, they are the main, like, the main antagonist. I guess you would call them the main antagonist of the game. The yeah, well, I mean, they're the main obstacle, really. Uh, well, antagonist of the That's run, should I say. Not the actual story. So, yeah. That's the bread and butter of this game, is dodging the cops. Mm. 
Which is also the reason why this might this might switch a lot of people off, but um, yeah, it's usually the reason why this game is interesting but also difficult at the same time. Yeah, it's the police quite random. difficult. So yeah. Okay, that's another one done. Ooh. Also, are we counting any time that the game crashes your car for you? Are we counting that as one? Are we counting what? Like every time, so you said about the every time you hit something. Yeah. Like accident. Yeah. What happens if the game does it for you? Like you spun around and hit the barrier. What would that count? Sure, no, that's a dollar, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Add it okay, to the pile. You're, lucky then. you're lucky either way, but still. Yeah, this could get real expensive real fast now that I said that. Yeah, some mission can go down pretty quickly. Uh, watch out. Okay, thank you. So that. And in these missions, it's all about like getting the best line and going as quick, keeping your momentum as much as possible. Hi there. Yeah, I took you right. Two. Whoops. Yeah. yeah, nice and easy. Yeah, this, this is the. There's like a, this, there's a two or three uh, driving mission in this moment. After like, oh, okay, hi there. <laughs> That's you know, even I do that. I, I sit there every check. Whoa. Yeah, it's it's like <laughs> it's an instinct almost to just lean in. It's, it doesn't do anything, but just. See, us, us doing that is the same as when you lean in, isn't it? Yeah. Again, it's the same so that, thing. you get more yeah. speed, obviously. Yeah, like, come on! <laughs> more power! Okay, so we're past that, we're... But yeah, I was about to say, like, at least these couple of missions are a nice break. Because after, like, the two-track mission, the find a clue mission, once you're in this uh, place, you're like, okay, I, I got something good should, going. Uh, I think we should just quickly catch everybody up with the story of where we are, because we haven't made the story oh, well, for a bit. Yeah, well, I don't even follow you've it got, myself. You've got, you've, got the, uh, you've got the follow mission anyway, so whilst you're doing that, I'll quickly explain. So, we came out of Chicago, Ooh, and one. it turns out that um, they're, like... Uh, Jericho and everything are all heading to. Uh, they're all heading to Havana, so they're all going to Cuba. Um, we also find out in the last, at the end of the last mission, so not not this one, not the last one, the one where we had to get to the docks to see Rosanna Soto. But it turns out Rosanna Soto isn't a person; it is a ship, and it's going to Las Vegas. Um, and yeah, so that's where we will be going after we finish uh, Havana. Um, so whilst we, we we've actually found out that. Jericho's in town and everything like that um, and we, we've got the job here of following him. Now for this mission in particular about following Ooh. him is very very difficult because he likes to just put his foot down do a lead foot and then uh, stop and then just stop for no reason. I was so close at the end. Yeah that's wow. intended. If you get close enough you can take like skip the end cutscene. I never pulled it off. I don't know how it works. Also another takedown mission through to Jericho. Hopefully I get a good pattern. New. No. Okay restart because that pattern is terrible. It goes the wrong way because this is another mission. Uh, 209? Yeah 209 is fine. Is it? Yeah. yeah we'll right. see. <laughs> he did it. He's already done a. Uh, That's not great. A long one, so it's fine. That's even worse. Uh, he's da, 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 da. coming at you, isn't he? No, he's going the other way. I'm going to wait for him. Well, this might be a bad idea. Oh, he's yeah. actually. Oh, okay. Hello. He's going that way. There we go. Nice. That well, that's one way of doing it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That works. Nice. We got him. So that mission for me is always a hard one. Um, but now that we've got Jericho, we've actually captured him ourselves. We now need to get into the safe house, which yep. means we need to escape the Brazilians, because it turns out that Vasquez has clocked onto what we're doing. And we're also trying to get Pink Lenny as well as Jericho. Basically, because we're an undercover cop, we need to make sure we take down Kane and his gang, which includes Jericho. And also Vasquez. So uh, Vasquez uh, has, has gone. Ooh, Wait a minute. Okay. You're you're trying to uh, you're you're trying to take Pink Lenny, and you're doing that to infiltr by infiltrating Kane's gang and speaking to Jericho. Right. Okay. We want to speak to him just as much as you do. Hence the reason why they're chasing you. And uh, there are a few things to just quickly mention as well regarding oh, we lost the game them. That's in bad. general. Um, one of the things that is quite prevalent uh, in this game so one thing that me and ricky did i don't know if you do, if you do it at home um is when you install this game you can install the game without the movie files oh. so this actually speeds the game up not that much i'll grant you um, but it does speed the game up Ow. okay oh, that was well. like a double whammy i think yep that's a couple dollars in there does it count if they hit you sure oh, okay audience does that count or does it doesn't not i don't know it does, all right. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, added okay. to no, 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 the count. They, they actually decided. It it's been okay. voted. <laughs> also, yeah. Okay, well. The other thing is as well is uh, Jericho often says push it. Um, okay. But, uh, that intersection is hell because you don't see it. It's blind. Oh, hi there. Okay, Ooh. you slow down. Okay, Thanks, man. Yeah. He didn't go for me. Uh, yeah, so Jericho always says push it. And I always think of uh, uh, that night you sung. It's like, yeah. Oh, oh. oh uh, okay, we've okay. stopped already. We're kind of close. Uh, why are you still there? Uh-oh. 
Okay, uh, he's supposed Let's to slow down normally. He's... Well, now he's due. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a bit of NASCAR just to lose him. I thought he was making a left turn, not a right. Anyway. Anywho. Okay, you know yeah, what? it's really weird. He doesn't actually do this. Demo Derby time. There, there we, we go. go. Okay, right, we got him. Well, that's weird. Usually the save zone is supposed to, like, uh, slow him down, but for some reason he would not stop. He was on the mission. Well, I mean, you heard you were doing a speed run at ASA, so... Yeah, apparently. <laughs> okay, and now we drop the car, lock, lock the door, and that's Havana done. It was kind of like, let me in. Two, that, two me city in. done in, what, 30 minutes? Just short of 34 minutes. Pretty good. Now, I we get to Vegas. So Vegas has decent music, I would say. In my opinion, that's probably the better soundtrack of the lot. Bit boring um, missions. <laughs> but the missions are literally linear as it gets. So I think if our host has got anything to mention, that would be perfect. Yep. Would you like to win some awesome prizes? Ooh. All it will take is a donation. You can head to prizes.esamarathon.com and you can take a look at all the prizes that are available, including daily prizes and well, prizes that can accumulate over the donations that you make across the entire event. We've got custom PS5s, we've got a limited edition Switch, we've got a little figurines, we've got art, we've got so much stuff. Head to prizes.esamarathon.com to check out what you can win. Stuff. Feel free to, gen uh, to donate, people. It's a good cause. So one of the main things as well, we, we talked about the draw distance being improved on here. So a lot of the things that you see in the game here, now Vegas is interesting because of the fact that, I mean, mission-wise it's relatively linear, but in terms of the actual like PS1 versus the, the Redriver 2 performance, on PS1, it tanks so much because it's trying to load in all the massive buildings. Yeah, like there's too much for the PS1 to end all. But on PC, it runs flawlessly. Um, but yeah, you, there's a, a few recognizable signs there. I think we've got Danny, Denny's, is it? Yeah, Denny's. Denny's, because they couldn't, they, yeah. I guess they couldn't get licensed for Denny's, so they just called it Denny's. Yeah. It, I'm pretty sure it's still an E. I think they. No, I, it's an I. It's, oh, is it definitely an I? Okay, they, didn't right, right. they call it Denny's. Also, we've got, we've oh, got pyramids and everything. Okay, that's Sorry, right. Sorry, it was out. Yeah, yeah, we've got like pyramids and everything. Yeah, no, here's the, what's the USB looks for? So, we're not in Egypt, we are in Vegas. But yeah, yeah they, they have got, they did, I think they did a pretty good, I mean, for 2000 anyway. Yeah, again. I like, think they did a pretty good job. I think they had four it. cities to make. Also, there's a Mountain Dew ad. Yeah. I don't know why there's a Mountain Dew ad. Here. It's only like it's actual this. ad. It's just there. I mean, I don't know if you've been to Vegas, but it is this blocky in real life. Yep, all I pixels. So, like it. Yeah, it's very pixelated. Was there a madman driving a red car while you were there? I mean, that's a daily occurrence in Vegas. <laughs> okay, and just go in, there you go, win. Thankfully, they don't make you open the door every time. Like, and, and... Ah, now, this oh, is this, this is an interesting one. So this is a very short mission, but for me, this, as a kid, this was stressful. Yeah. I don't know why, like, now I can go, ah, it's fine. You but... need to know where to go. If you don't, it's impossible. Yeah. But once you know that, you just need to do this. So we actually need to race the train, so we need to beat it, and we also need to get out, get in another car before the train. The train doesn't stop. No. So it just plows into you. If you're not, you really do have to do this quick. Okay. And there's also a glitch as well, which not in the not in this mission, but in Vegas. Uh, if you can get up here in, in like a regular car, get and out, drive. Quick. In, there you go. And drive into the uh, Speed. the tunnel. There you go. Okay, we're fine. There you go. Yeah. So if you if you drive into the tunnel, the uh, the game will just like shove you back and just go, you'll go flying back. But if you do it, if you're on foot and you just walk into it, it says you drowned. Yeah, if oh yeah, for some reason. into a tunnel, it's weird. So I hope you like beeping, because... Yeah. That's going to be that for the next minutes. We've got a car bomb. So what what ha decides to happen here is Vasquez thought it'd be a good idea to send... Uh, oh, there's already a car there. He decided to send Kane a nice little present. It was a car bomb. As one does. Uh, as one does, you know. it's If you like someone that much, you, you go, you know what, I'm going to... I'm going to send him a cab. You know, why not? Um, but uh, Kane has decided, you know what we're going to do? We're going to gift wrap it back. So basically, we're going to just return to sender. So this is us returning it to sender. And no, by return to sender, it means that we are going to blow up his casino. Uh, more specific, well, Kane's casino, anyway. I don't know if the... No, Vasquez Casino, you know, we don't... <laughs> Sorry, Vasquez. Kane won't blow up his own yeah, stuff. Up I hope stuff, not. Yeah. I guess well, maybe for insurance. I mean, Jericho might. Fair. But... Or even uh, uh, Tana, sorry, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, sorry, yeah, Vasquez's casino. But yeah, uh, they, they, you know, he tried, he tried. Yep. 
Uh, I guess something you can mention, like for the felony bar, like mention how like what happens uh, depending on how many how much felony you have. Uh, how you gain felony is there's a couple of ways. Uh, you can gain it by like rubbing a car like that, just gaining in an accident. <laughs> Are you trying to make this hard? Oh, that's a dollar. Whoops, uh, two. I just did price. Well, oh well. I've lost count oh, of how this many is... are on now. Okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> like both like, Okay, okay, that's fine. There we go. Uh, but yeah, like you can uh, get more felony by like uh, getting an accident. Funny enough, hitting a cop car does not give you felony. <laughs> I guess they couldn't make it so that if the cop car itself uh, crashes into you, it, uh, okay, uh, it it doesn't give you felony. So they just decide no felony period for cop cars. Just gonna say the cops are gonna back up. And, uh, yes, they are. Right. Yeah, no, they all eventually. Phew. Uh, but yeah, uh, that gives you felony running over pedestrian. Oh, that's what. Yeah, it's, okay, fine. it's far enough, it's far enough, so it won't be an issue, but it... Is it? No, no we, okay. we lost them, cool. we're good. Phew. Also, now we get to do a, uh, a Tom Cruise, I guess, and just run. Yeah, I don't don't ask me why, how this building works, it makes no sense. Also, ready? Boom! Yeah, AG explosion. And apparently... Oh, <laughs> I went through the... Yeah, the, <laughs> also, also the building looks exactly the same, don't worry about it. Okay, so... You're supposed to get chased at the start of the mission, as you can see there's car, but uh, you can just get in the car and leave and it's yeah, if fine. You, if you grind the wall um, and get like stay dead close to it, the cops won't actually come after you. Yeah. However, if you just go like straight ahead and then turn right, them cops will chase you to your car. Um, and originally in... So in the original uh, PS1 version, that doesn't happen. You don't get any of this. This was actually something that was added by the community because I believe it was in the beta or something Maybe. like that. Maybe. Like I the, could like the original you. version of the game. Uh, that's another thing as well. Uh, we're also we're talking about modding. So yeah. Through the power of modding and, and the alt mod pack we was on about before. Yeah. Um, there was additional missions that weren't originally oh, in the yeah, game, yeah. but they were in the they were in like a, a beta build or something, weren't they? Yeah. Um, so like uh, Chicago got one after Kane's compound. Instead of doing uh, the Chicago mission, you had to get back to. Jones's place or something like that. Uh, so yeah, something. Something like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like an additional mission. Like between well. the compound and the uh, like mission in the rain. There's a next door mission where you drive back. Yeah, so there's uh, an additional mission in Havana as well. With yep. The between the two truck missions, uh, we yeah, I suspect like else. at some point what the first truck mission was split in two. Like the first part was going to take down the vehicle, and the second part would be actually like drive the van back to the compound. Yeah. Uh, but that got cut. And there's another one in Nirvana that will uh, in Rio that we'll see eventually. Okay. By yeah, the way, so the three if box in this game is awful. I think it was after boat jump, wasn't it? Is that right? Yeah, it's yeah. after boat jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we'll explain that as we get to it. But yeah, so that's a simple one. That's literally like you just drop the bomb off and then obviously Here's come back. So now we get bank job. Now, funnily enough, um, this I, I suppose the way I look at bank job is it's fairly straightforward. It's fairly easy. Um, even on the highest difficulty, I think it's relatively straightforward. Um, but this, believe it or not, for those that never got past the car park mission in Driver 1, and there actually was more missions, uh, the bank job was the first mission in Miami. So after you actually did successfully oh, yeah. beat that, uh, the bank job it was the that. first mission in Miami. It's, it's called the bank job. In this one, it's bank job. So I suppose it's like a reference to itself. To itself. There's a couple of missions that we use the name, like steal a cop car, become steal the cop car. Uh, wait, is it the other way around? Yeah, still, still. The, I think it's still a cop car, and in this, it's still the. Okay, cop so car. I was right. Yeah, I was correct. They only changed one letter. Ooh, Ooh. well done. Ooh. Yeah, um, well, <laughs> but yeah. So the, I think it's, they're doing their best. Yeah, exactly. It's like we're doing our best. Uh, we could probably quickly open up a little bit more. So yeah, to um, so what Survivor was saying, like right near the start of the run. So yeah, GTA and Driver used to have this like rivalry, I guess, in a way. Um, more, it, well, it wasn't really a rivalry, I don't think. But there was, been, there was been some reference between, between both games. Yeah, so Rockstar, obviously, I think it was the time was D DCA or DM. I can't remember. DMA, DMA Design. DMA Design. That's the one. Thank you. Uh, obviously, I think everyone knows the story. It was named called Quick and Crash, turned into Grand Theft Auto, and there you go. The series begun. Uh, with Driver, they actually tested some of their damage models on earlier games. So Reflections, who made this, uh, as well as the original Driver, made a game called Destruction Derby. You may have heard of it. All right, uh, it's after. For the original PlayStation 1. Uh, they released two games in 1995 oh, so and quick note, uh, quick note. Uh, yeah, the game doesn't actually realize you can just go from the other way around. Oh, Speaking of yeah. big trees, there you go. That's a good way to showcase it. Uh, yeah, the game didn't think of yeah, that you're right from the other side, so it just flips your car right away and assumes you're going from the other way around. Yeah. So, and but it turns out going via the highway is much quicker than going through the, uh, the, yeah, uh, the like the industrial game, the part. Game, uh, the game literally goes right. Okay, you went that way. Poof, there you go. Yeah. Turn back around. The other way. 
uh, which is always good fun. But um, yeah, so with the, the, the GTA and the driver sort of thing. Um, so uh, you, Reflections made Destruction Derby 1 in 1985, I think it was. Oh, Destruction Derby 2 that's in 1986. Way too far. And the, the damage models they used in them were like their, which were, well, the base, they were the original damage models for Driver. Um, it's not like proven oh, that that was it. Okay, it's fine. Yep, it's fine. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't proved that that was the Ooh. like damage models, but that's how they were able to finalize making a damage model for Driver when it released in 1999. Should I? Nah, I'm uh, gonna go safely. Around. Yeah. Technically, you could go down the, on the other side and be slightly quicker because it's a sharper lane. Uh, but obviously, you're going against the traffic, so that comes with its own share of trouble. But yeah, so like with, 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 with Driver 2 being like it is, yeah, you do have a PS1 version. There's another thing as well, which are two big things. Uh, one of them is that the uh, the War Plus thing, we'll get onto that in a quick second because there's a bit more to talk about. Uh, but yeah, with the, oh, yeah if you want to run this part. game, there is a console. If you want to run the game on console, emulator, obviously, for those that want to run emulator. Or this and port. Also, this port. This is well. the more popular version, to be fair. Yes, it is. Because uh, of the lag again. It removes all the lag, so it makes this game much more pleasant to run. Yeah. And there's, there's that doesn't count, that's intended, because I can just get out instantly and press a button and press one a button. Press literally like over there. Okay. Yeah, the hitbox is massive. Okay, this is where it gets chaotic in Vegas. So I need to take down this ambulance, and there's a cop car that's quite angry, because, again, hard difficulty. So I'm gonna get the ambulance to push me a bit. I'm gonna get on site. Don't hit the ambulance! Okay, it's fine. It's quite easy for the cop car to destroy the ambulance, because the cop car doesn't see the ambulance, it's just going for you. So it's gonna go in against everything in the way. Oh, it's already dead. This is quite good. I'd probably hurry up for anything else. Get out. There we go. Okay. I'm out. Okay, I'm just driving. Yeah, let's go. And now we can just relax because there's no cops spawning anymore. Well, whilst you're driving back to the uh, to the safe house, I guess. Um, yeah, the couple of things to just quickly mention. Yeah, so we, we, we said about the, the console versions and things like that. Now, the main question, which I'm pretty sure everybody is wondering, is why the heck is War Plus in the category extension? Oh, yeah. Sorry, the category title. So, about I think it was about a year ago, wasn't it? Roughly uh, a year and a bit ago. More uh, than that. Might be longer no, than that. No, it's more than that. I've, I started two years ago. two years ago and it was already a team. Okay, yeah, so it's probably like two, maybe even three years at this point. Uh, there was some, there's someone in the driver community who's also on Driver 2 by the name of Coops, uh, or Coopers, I think it was at the time. Uh, and what had happened was he literally posted a message in the driver Discord saying, uh, guys, I think I may have found something interesting and I think I've just broke driver 2 in half. <laughs> So it was like, yeah. okay, sure, what's the idea? Then. So it turns out that if you select, if you do the first mission and you go into replay mission, then you can try this for yourself. It works in any version of the game. Yep. Um, and if you go into, uh, so you start a new game, you complete surveillance tip off for the first mission in the game, you exit out, and then when you go into replay mission, you need to select up and X at the same time. It selects Chicago and Rio at the same time. It gives you missions that it thinks is in Chicago, but it has Rio's picture. So mm -hmm. it comes up with like mission not found or like some some weird Yeah, it's some basically. weird text. Like it's obviously not supposed to happen. And if you select the fourth line down, it starts the fourth mission in Rio. So you can literally do mission oh one. Boy. So it goes from like out. surveillance tip off uh, in Chicago. And then you literally go from there to save Jones in Rio. And essentially it cuts out about 90 to 95% of the game. So this game goes from like an hour and uh -oh. a half. This so, is not a great start. Spitting. There we go. Um, yeah, so essentially it goes from like in the uh, the PS1 version, the game goes from two and a half hours to less than 26 well, great. minutes. Um, and then in the PC version, we go from like an hour and 20 to about, what, 15? Uh, yeah, 18, something like that. Something like that, I can't remember. I think it's 14... 14, 14, 14 12, 12, I think. Yeah, 14, uh, by 12. someone called Brynu. We, we looked oh. at it earlier, we should know that. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. Uh, okay, here's a funny glitch. Yo, no. You can just... <laughs> oh, oh, maybe oh, I'm gonna wreck it. Oh, okay, hey, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's, fine. Right? it's not fine. The police are trying. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this and is... Also, this is This is also another mission that will be very difficult. Um, something that's not in... 
Again, there's something we can do in this version that you can't do in the PS1 version, which is when you get right near the end point where you're supposed to get to, if the cops are on you but they can't see you, you can actually beat the mission. Yeah. Because they didn't see you enter the zone. Oh, I guess Normally, could... you can actually, you ha like in the PS1 version, you actually need to lose the tail. We should explain why we're panicking about this mission, because people may be receiving, uh, seeing this and be like, well, this is A to B, like you've just been doing, like, what's, what's so weird? Uh, you know the whole safe zone thing we mentioned, like, oh, the cops slow down when you get to the des destination. Uh, yeah, there's a bug that doesn't work in this mission. The cop keeps spawning near the airport, and you need to lose the cop, and you're not allowed to leave his car. Yeah. You can probably guess where the issue comes from. So we kind of just pray to our Lord that the cops don't spawn near the, uh, the end point, yeah. and you can just hit the checkpoint while they don't see you. That's it's extremely well. orange dependent. And with, with the felony being at max, it means that when... Uh, again, somebody mentioned this before, but the, the more your felony bar uh, fills up, I'm gonna the harder it goes. Oh, you... Interesting. Will you? Thank that's, you. That's actually an interesting tactic, though. He actually drove uh, well for a change. <laughs> I wasn't expecting he that. He tried. He tried. Uh, I'm just wondering where the other cop. Oh, he's there. Is. Okay, y'all need to hit walls or something. I'm swerving. So this is the one mission in particular. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be bad. Him stop. I can't, I might get him stuck here. Yeah, this isn't going to count. Lose a tail. Yep. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's do NASCAR. We're going to do circles. Wait. Oh, wait. Maybe. Come on, shoo, go away. Will you? Can't really get that. There we go, okay, he's gone. Uh, no, he's still there. He's still pissing. No, he's gone, okay. We're we're fine. Okay. For now. Well, even if there's one spawning, uh, there, this is a one way, so yeah, like I can just slow down and wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, we're gonna play this one safe. Oh, we're in the sandwich. <laughs> just play it careful. There we go, well done. But yeah, that is probably one of the hardest missions in... Uh, oh, actually, I take that back. And then no, there's this not. guy. There's this guy, yeah. Okay, so I take that back. I was about to say that's the hardest mission in Vegas. Well, it's not this hard. This one is hard. Well, no, this one isn't hard to do casually. It's hard to do a speed run because you need to do... It's, again, like find a clue. There's a car you need to destroy, and it, it doesn't have infinite mass, so you actually need to ram it. And it's, like, broken steering. Like, he, he literally, like, swerves a yeah, lot. Yeah, he the struggles car. a bit. It's really weird. So this guy will go really well or really badly. And like there's a bit of a drive to get to him to begin with, so that doesn't help the case here. That's a wall. Okay, we're fine. We didn't hit the wall. I have a feeling it's like at one point I'm like, are you aiming for these people? No, maybe that mime, but no. Okay. Wait, do they have mimes in Vegas? Maybe? I don't know. I've never been to Vegas, so I can tell that you. That host maybe help us out on this one? Do Anyone, they have, do they have anyone's been to Vegas? I think the, the, the general vibe of Vegas is that if you can imagine it, it exists in Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So the important thing is I don't want him to like turn onto a highway because uh, it's going to become a driver. He has the same top speed as I am, so we're just going to be stuck next to each other and just do nothing. So I want him to go on tiny roads so we actually have to do like corners and things like that. Oh, he spawned in the oh, middle actually, he hit something. Oh, Where wait. the hell are you going? That's not normal. Okay, well, I mean, that works for me. And I just beans it anyway, because I wasn't expecting it. Where the hell is he going now? This is, this is the other thing as well. This please is on turn, please on turn, please on turn. Thank you, okay. <laughs> That's the only thing I was worried about. Don't speak too soon. Where's he going? No, it's fine. This one should be mostly fine. There we are. Yeah. So this is where now... The, the, the uh, you know, the, the dollar thing we were talking about? Yeah, this is Oh, where yeah. Up. Yeah, that's going to be a, a good one. Oh, he's not going to do the... Okay, right. So, I got really unlucky on this once. Um, so okay, this is pretty slow. In the PS1 version, um, there's actually a glitch, if you're unlucky, where if he... Dro so, the, the building we just went past as well. Oh, God. <laughs> he knows when to slow down, doesn't he? It's weird. Yeah, so... There's okay, a, try again. a building in particular, which, which he actually drove past as well, um, where the floor is not solid, and he can actually fall out of the map. It's not very often you get that, but if you get it, bear in mind, it's just a complete reset. There's there's no way it's not... Oh, yeah, because you you need to get in the car at the end of the mission. So, yeah. obviously, if he's under the map, well, <laughs> there we can't do much. Okay, that was pretty sloppy. We'll have to take it. We take it. We made the mission. That's the important part. Yeah. So, that, like I said, that mission can go really well or really bad. Again, now we've got the last two missions of Vegas, which are really straightforward. Yeah. C4 deal, which is just from point nope. A to point B. Um, Too much speed. We just need to get to. I think it's just a garage, isn't it? We need to get yep. some C4 apparently because we found out that this in Vegas, Vasquez has a warehouse and we're gonna. It's got all his supply trucks in it. However, we can't go there with nothing. We have to get some C4 first, blow Vasquez's trucks, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna chase him to Rio.
What's the time? Um, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Not too bad, 52 minutes. Yeah, no, this, this is going quite well. Considering we're playing on high difficulty, this is going super well. Yeah. So normally on easy like, difficulty, most missions are relatively straightforward. Um, that, oh, speaking of difficulties, actually, we can probably quickly mention. Um, yeah. The easiest difficulty on this, I think, if I'm not right, if I'm wrong in saying, uh, is actually easier than it is on the PS1. Apparently, yeah, there's some weird issue like with the difficulty curves. Uh, so the difficulty don't scale exactly as they do in PS1. Well, the way I put it was like, easy is, well, easy. Yeah. Medi medium is the easier difficulty on PS1, and then hard is either medium or hard on PS1. Now. It's a bit, of, yeah, it's not exactly. It's, like a it's mix, not a one to one, like so it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's like a hybrid mix. It's weird. Yeah. You might be fixing the latest version, honestly. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> For all I know. But yeah, we'd highly recommend it. Um, the other thing we can probably mention as well, which is related to driver, but not driver too, um, is the fact that, so the guy who. Helped reverse engineer this as well as. The oh, yeah, Soapy. Well, I guess we Soapy. should mention him, yeah. Yeah. A uh, guy called Soapy, I briefly mentioned him back at the start, but yeah, uh, he basically allowed this game to be playable, <laughs> yeah. we'll call it, um, on PC and was able to be actually like run and things like that. So, big shout out goes to Soapy. Uh, whilst we're on the topic of Soapy, actually, and the Drive community as a whole, um, so obviously, the Drive community has a fair few games in the series but the driver community have a game known as the driver syndicate which is basically yep. a it's not got ubisoft name on it or reflections or anything like that it's a game that they came up with single like on their own didn't they they had several people work on it uh soapy being like one of the main guys um and yeah long story short they're making you know like you like Ooh. the ip is pretty much dead for driver at this point um but that's not stopped the um you know, the, the community. community from actually doing anything. Um, and funnily enough, about, I think about two, was it two, three weeks ago, I did actually a run of uh, Driver 1's Miami. Oh, missions, yeah. Uh, I was even there. On I... Driver Syndicate. I think, I think it was for Indiethon. Correctly. <laughs> something like something that. Something along those lines. Um, but yeah, so that's also another thing. Again, that's also free. Um, you can get access to it on the Driver Madness Discord uh, if that takes your fancy. The speedrunning part is just kind of, well, why not? Um, but the actual, like, playing it through is quite good. Um, so it's basically, how do I put it? It's, it's a driver fan-made port. Yeah, it's a, fan uh, it's a fan game pretty much. And yeah, you can mod anything into it. There's maps that have been created uh, of previous driver games. There's been maps mm -hmm. created of, like, GTA games and stuff as well. Um, so don't worry about like Tanner. That. For some reason, yes, three piece of C4 to play down. You decided yeah. that 14 seconds is good there enough you. to get out. <laughs> And there you go. So that's with that we have Vegas done. Yeah, and now is the final. How much? Oh, it's pretty good, I think. So now we get into Rio. This Rio is where it is, gets painful. Yeah. So Rio is where Better. it gets difficult. Because um, the driving oh. missions are pretty long. Like you can see, this yeah. is a five-minute, uh, like six-minute, in fact, driving mission. Yeah. Um, and we're not going to be driving exactly the NF1 car. No, exactly. So. A lot of the cars, by the way, are based on real ones. So supposedly this was based on a Mercedes Benz. I don't know. Yeah, what like an model, SL, but... SL something. Yeah, a lot of the cars are based on models. Um, what's the same for? Oh, yeah, Driver Syndicate. Yeah, so it's a community-based project. Um, you can download it for free. Um, it is in the Driver Madness Discord. Just simply look up Driver Madness Discord. Oh, uh, even just Google. Put it in the there. Whoops. Um, and yeah, you, <laughs> could, you can actually. Long story short, you can easily just. Uh, get it installed and yeah, start playing some random driver game that you've probably never heard of. Um, and yeah, they, they do have missions and things like that. The Driver Syndicate itself, on its own, um, is a work in progress game, and that by basically it's made by driver fans for driver fans. Yep, so if you're ever much. a fan and you couldn't wait for a driver game like we didn't, um, then yeah, it's a case of it keeps us going for more, you know, that sort of thing, which is quite nice. Uh, um, so definitely go and check that out. By the way, random question anyway. How's the uh, car crash counter? 55? Oh, okay, 65. wow. <laughs> okay, way, worse. way more than we thought. <laughs> We're even near the end, okay. Well, oh well. So yeah, this is what we have to drive. It's not quick, it's heavy, it takes a lot of room, and it's gonna get even worse, we'll see. Also, world's fastest bus. It's pretty much the slowest vehicle as, as it gets, I think. Like, I think it has the slowest power speed of everything possible. It's definitely the slowest thing in Rio, that's for sure. Oh, well, here's another one to the pile. Yeah, so the bus is super slow, but... Um... And big, and doesn't handle all that well. It's miserable yeah. to drive, and it, and it's, it's not just that we have to drive the bus, because here it's, it's not that bad, because like it's a pretty open road. Uh, but we'll, you'll see what kind of road we need to get to 
get to their uh, end destination. Because hmm. I guess, whoops, coming through. I guess we got that was just one because there were several cars. Involved. Sure, <laughs> going to be generous. Uh, I, how we can explain how traffic works? Because like tra there's a limited amount of like traffic cars that can be in the uh, that been spawned, and the tra the game spawns it all all around you if where is possible. And in Rio, as you can see, it's tiny roads, so the traffic is just going to spawn at, as much as possible. Also, this is a one way we're driving against the traffic in a bus. You can probably guess where it's going to go. This is quite bad. There's a crash. Yeah, so this counter is now where it goes through. The uh, I'm going to use that camera. I was going to say, yeah, I, I, that's... <laughs> switch the, oh, that's I camera. hit something somewhere we've, in there. Something. That's free. Yeah. The thing is, this bus is a tank, to be honest, so... Thankfully, yeah, it's quite resistant. Out of all the cars you can hit, it's just like, yeah. I'd say it's almost as tough as the limo in the President's Run on Driver 1, but I'm not going to go that far. Uh, maybe. That thing was tough. That thing oh, would take that's... a punch. I mean, it's still a difficult mission, but hey, there you go. There's actually a glitch for that mission, by the way. Feel free to look it up if you wish. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, there you go. I can't make it's a guy. Okay. You know, actually, just watch the glitch. That they oh, got. I completely whiffed it. Okay, well, that's... Okay. Yeah, so we now need to well, destroy I'm that up. the cars, uh, which are relatively straightforward. Yeah, if, the idea would just, like, slide off that car and hit those two cars. Like, I kind of like that. Okay, now I'm allowed to leave the bus, so I'm going to do that ASAP, so... Oh, there's a T-Bird, that's good. This is probably sure my favorite car in the city, because it handles really well. So just make sure you don't um, block the entire road like I did once. Yeah, no, you need to leave yourself a little bit of room. But yeah, so we're not actually... So you notice up until this point, we've not actually had any sort of enemies chase. Uh, which mission. one is That's the... the chase. Oh, is that one? Okay, okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure. So it turns out that uh, Vasquez's boys have been keeping an eye on us. And uh, yeah, they're not very happy that we just wrecked their cars. So... Unsurprisingly. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get, Yeah, we're going to get chased. I mean, would you like it if, uh, yeah. if somebody actually smashed your car up? I don't think you would. I don't think you'd be like, yeah, this is fine. Oh, there's another guy that spawned. He's there somewhere. Oh, he's yeah, he's just fun. having fun with the wall. He's not doing well. Yeah, so the police in Rio, um, they can be a bit ruthless. They're not like but that it's less hard, the, but they can They have the same bit. AI. Yeah. It's, it's less that the AI is harder. It's more that the city is much harder to go through because like, it's all like mostly small roads with uh, tiny sidewalks. And again, all most of the roads are like isolated. So all the spawns from the traffic are in your, the road you're driving to. And, and like around here, like you can see, there's a bunch of roads around. So there's cars like there. So there's less traffic in my way. So, so that's the first mission in Rio done. Uh, does that count? Sure. I think <laughs> we said yes earlier. So okay, yeah, it, now it counts. All right. Oh. Okay, another quite tough one. Especially this on hard difficulty is really rough. Like yeah. It's, it's, so we tried it earlier. Casually, and I got, got it once and failed it the other time. So. Yeah, it's pretty hard casually. Um, so we have to get from. Where our safe house is, we have to get from there to the local police station where we are going to steal a police car. Steal um, the police car. Sorry, steal the police car. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we've got to get from there back to the safe house, which... It's the different it safe seem, house. It does not seem like it's that far, but your start point and end point are completely different places. Yeah, because we're going basically to the north of Rio. So yeah. it's a really long drive. It's rain physics, and there's cops chasing you because you're in the cop car, which has a lot of felony. So there's roadblocks and everything already to give in to you. Oh, well, actually, speaking of dry driver in, in general, um, so we mentioned about like the driver syndicate. There's Ooh. one thing that we didn't mention about, uh, which is called Open Driver. Um, so yep. This is a like open project that you can download. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the same. You can run in like a browser or something like uh, that. Oh, I, I never tried it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Okay, <laughs> so this is this project, K Park, so. just quickly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, we have a decent amount of felony. We have a cop car. Thankfully, the game is lenient, because normally, in the, with at this amount of felony, there should be two cops spawning, but the game limits it to one for this mission, just to be slightly reasonable. Oh, this is a bad spawn. Hi there. Oh, we're flying! Uh, oh, this is bad. I'm pretty sure this is a mission fail. Maybe not? Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're saved. There we go, like nothing ever happened. So, do we count five for the flip? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll throw, a <laughs> I'll throw a fiver in there. Okay, yeah, we're at we, 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 we didn't 60. actually have uh, flips on our bingo card today. So. No. Okay, we're at sixty percent damage. We're, we just barely got through this road, so this is uh, bad. We'll put it that way. Yes, yeah, so I, I think one thing in particular, which everybody maybe is not, which I'm going to send you. Oh, I was hoping oh, okay. to send you down there, but that didn't um, work. 
Yeah, so one thing that's very synonymous with Driver 2, I think, and just Driver in general, is the survival mode, because I think anyone that's played uh, Survival mode is Okay, ow. Okay. Yeah. Don't mind the noise. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm, I'm going full left there. The game doesn't really know what to do with, like, uphills, corners, yeah, so specifically. Still, like, like the suspension just, just collapsed. Yeah. Ow. Okay, this is... Yeah, I think this is going to be a mission fail. Uh, oh, no, okay. keep going. Yeah, but I need to go off in the off ramp here, and he's like on me. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, nah, yeah. I'm smash the car up. Okay, here you go. The first mission fail. I mean, I'm happy that I managed to get to that point without failing. Uh, so we're still on good pace. Like, we shouldn't be. Uh, so for uh, any of those, don't worry. We're still on pace. We shouldn't be too late. Phew. So I guess speaking of, uh, speaking of that, if you have any uh, mention you want to go. Uh, it's a good time since we're basically retreading uh, already seen terrain. Absolutely. So, earlier this week we released the special uh, limited edition ESA Summer 2023 t-shirt. And obviously everyone here on site has got their, their version of it. But did you know you can pick one up at home as well? Go to speedrun.store and you can pick up your own charity t-shirt. And some of the proceeds from that will go towards Alzheimer Fondant as well. So, not only do you get a nice t-shirt, but you can sit in it at home and get that warm, fuzzy feeling that you're helping out Alzheimer Fondant as well. Nice. Yeah, the uh, the speedrun shirt, I say that. The ESA Summer shirt, shirt, I say. Pretty worth picking up, definitely. Yeah, they're great. I Actually, wait, is this the one I got? I got the other one. I actually don't remember. Was it the black one with the sun on it, or was it the... I got a purple one. one. That's the best description I can give you. I got, a, like, a polo shirt, too. Uh, not a polo shirt, but, like, a hoodie. I was going to say, hang on a minute. We're in Sweden, not Poland, but anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Okay, so what's, yeah, this is a pretty miserable, oh, really again? That's, now that is just unlucky. So yeah, this is the curse of this road, is that it's, like, there, it's a tunnel, there's nowhere to dodge. Okay, well, we, oh no, we, we got out with less damage, but not exactly by much. Up here, no good. Please just don't spawn the road, just spawn somewhere else. You got, you got some options. Uh, oh, yeah. Yay! Yeah, you got him, you got him. He's it. down there, he's down there, that's fine. That's give me, buy me a I'm not joking, the, the, I have to admit, for some silly reason, but the. the so all the police sirens sound genuinely like, like you know, as they should. Uh, they are police sirens. Good, not a good spawn. But the thing is, the one thing that always bugged me was the Brio one. Like, Chicago, I'm like, okay, right. It does sound we're, weird. We're in America, it? fair enough. I don't Vegas. know if it's accurate. Vegas was not bad, but then it's like well, yeah, it's the Havana same as is uh, Havana's quite a unique one. Okay, but Rio is kind of Red I don't know. Reminds me a lot of the old uh, police sirens in England. It's like nah, 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 nah. I don't know, but very. I mean, the ambulance slow, a lot at the ILO setup. I know because as a kid, the only game I played was mostly Driver Two and GTA Three. So you uh, basically so played. Took, so you played the arch rival. Pretty much, and like. Or the newer arch rival, shall we say? Uh, okay. But yeah, like they both have like they're both made in England, so they both have like high low sirens. So I thought that's what how, how ambulance is supposed to sound. So I was kind of confused as a kid when I heard an actual ambulance in Canada, and so like, oh wait, this this sounds nothing like the game. What's wrong? I don't even want to think about where he is right now. He's he's some. Oh, he's there. He's okay. in the wall. Go this way. Okay, I think this is mostly safe. And faces we'll them mostly. Should be fine. But not that far. Yeah, well, it's a good decent route. Okay, okay a good yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more roads around here. So, again, like I said, like, in, in those cases, like, the cops spawn away from me and not in, fr in front of me. In the tunnel, there's that's the only thing near me. So, the, the cop doesn't have a choice to spawn there. The only thing I can hope is that he spawns the same direction as I am. So, that's why it's a slightly bit easier to dodge them. But yeah, there, we're out of here. Yeah, we got it. We got this. Nice. Second time, well. Yep. Good stuff. It's still not great because like I'm I should be done by now on world record. <laughs> uh, okay, he's oh, already no, still down. He's, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say he's, he's in already the safe on zone. the. I was gonna say he's already on the dead zone, so it's fine. Yeah, dead zone, safe zone. Pick, pick your word. Oh, this is something as well. <laughs> so, oh yeah, we just spent all that effort to get that police car, and guess what we're gonna use it for? You ready? This is how long this car gets used yep, for. Yeah, this is what we need it for. So this great chase. This, so let's see. Turn up the siren, because obviously we need it. And we don't see it anymore. Ten seconds. That's all that's we need it, it that's for. That's all you need it for. 
That's literally what was the point in you? Somehow this is, the, this is what annoyed me. Is it like it wasn't just me either? There was there's a guy called Jimmy Broadbent. Anyone that knows uh, anyone that watches racing games, things like you might. He's not a speedrunner, just like yeah, he's a sim racer. Yeah, sim and racer. And now actual racer, racer now. He played Driver Two, spent maybe a good hour oh, on that mission, was nearly ready to throw his control out the window, and then he got to it and he went, "Are you?" Kidding me? I didn't even... I'm like, yep, that's pretty much how I felt. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's understandable. But yeah, like you literally need like 10 seconds. Oh, speaking of which, with that with this mission, so where the limo spawns in the PS1 version is slightly further back. So when you come out of where you're sat, um, the limo shows up at the lights, so mm -hmm. you can easily get in it a lot sooner. Whereas on this, it was like. We'll just move it forward. Yeah, it makes realize. a corner at least, so it's, it's yeah. a bit more of a drive, but still, it's not amazing. <laughs> but yeah, fun times. Yeah, it's... And well, the thing is... Change. It doesn't really... I don't think it makes Like, story-wise, story that's Tatter's idea, because like, Kane asks, uh, tells him, like, yeah, there's this limo that's going to go grab a, a, a suitcase with cash. Uh, can you get it? And Tatter's like, yeah, I can get it. Doesn't matter how. And Kane, like, Kane no, says, no, it's fine. It's so Tatter's idea is to steal a, a cop car, get the limousine... Oh, I just skipped a cutscene. Uh, still, a, still a cop car to get a limousine, and instead of just getting a limo straight up. Oh, well. Okay, oh, well, well, we made that one, so that's good. But yeah, yeah uh, this is a pretty relaxed mission because this is just like A to B and go to the destination and then go back. Yeah. So uh, the cutscene that we skipped, <laughs> we don't normally. Yeah, do obviously. It. All these cutscenes that Survivor is skipping, you don't skip them in the PS1. Version. Yeah, because that's an can't. option. That's a no, not an option. In that's PS1. a driver to feature, the skipping the in-game cutscene. Uh, but basically, in that particular bit, there's a load of Portuguese that's spoken. I don't know what is being said, but supposedly it's something like, "Is an imposter get him?" At which point, obviously, Tanner quickly hightails it out of there, and he's like. He's just been given the cash and he's like, wait a minute, you know, the guys have gone, I don't recognize you, get him. So hence the reason why you get henchmen on yourself, just to clear that up uh, for people that don't know. So yeah. I do like that they, they can't cheat, because in the cutscene you see like the, the, the guy running to the car in the compound. Uh, but yeah, the cutscene, they, uh, after the cutscene ends, they, they spawn it on the road down next to you, because I think the AI wasn't able to make the, the driver out and just kept getting stuck. So they probably figure, we'll make it spawn next to it and it won't show. <laughs> it's gonna make, make, make it more challenging. Uh, oh, wow, that was an interesting... Hi there, guys! Traffic pattern and a half. That was definitely an interesting traffic pattern. And now for a really hard trick. Now we're getting the painful bit. Is this where the actual... Yeah, we got save zones next. Oh, okay, right. I'm, I'm saying nothing. Okay, whoops. Oh, it okay, so that. this is quite precise, because if you fail this, this is gonna be a really long mission. So and I don't want to do that, because this is another take, uh, like crash in the car mission, like a, like the keys mission and the uh, find the clue mission in Nirvana. Uh, there's only one car, but this time the car is extremely resistant, and I don't want to waste my time trying to take that down. That's way too long. So I'm gonna try to get it to spawn in a specific pattern, uh, not a specific spot, to get him to drive in the water by himself without me doing anything. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna go wide just so I can see under the bridge. Yeah, there's nothing good. That way I can just jump straight and don't, I don't have to hit anything. Okay, so... Hopefully I get this. So I have a specific point, a visual guide I use. Should be coming close. Yeah, this is the line, line post I'm using. Speed! Okay, and... Yep, there we go. And now he's going in a straight line. And there we go. Yeah, so you just... You Simple see the damage that. bar fills up. So that act that actually works. That's that's it. That's Simple as that. Like that. So, how, I can't remember. Was it you that found this out? Uh, that, no. That glitch. I forgot who. I did it. Found that. Valkyrie found that. It, uh, they came out of nowhere and said, "Oh, by the way," because we knew that was possible. We just didn't know how to do it. And then, like years later, Valkyrie just come to Discord. Oh, by the way, if you go to buy that lamppost between 303 and 302, you just ride in the water, and lo and behold, it works. It, it's an instant kill. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you just have to uh, be there on time. It's relatively precise, that's why like, I'm trying to not crash as possible. Uh, but it's not that bad to do. Once you know what to do and you get a feel for it, it's pretty easy to get it consistently. Oh yeah, so we get some more on foot gameplay here, by the way. So this mission basically involves us going to blow up uh, one of the boats that Vasquez is sending out. Uh, presumably he's got something on it. I forget what it was because story and uh. Uh, but yeah. So I don't even we say need it. to uh, we need to destroy said boat. Uh, so supposedly 
uh, after we saved Jones, because apparently Jones was found out. This is the reason why we had to save him. Yeah, there was a uh, guy that was going to... Somebody found out who was going to expose him, I think. Yeah, I think they were going to expose him, so we take uh, take him out before they do, or in this case, we just drown him. Well, yeah. we didn't drown him, he did it by himself, so we didn't do anything. Yeah, so just to... I, mean, I swear, officer, he drove by himself. <laughs> yeah, so it seems like it's all a case of... Um, like that, that's how physics would work. But yeah, if you drive into the water in this, um, yeah, you, you yeah, that's that's true for you too. Like instantly if, right yourself. If the, if you the player go in the water, your damage is gonna rack up like that too. There is one thing though. Um, so normally, obviously, people don't abide by oh, you know, you, you use cheats and things like that. Obviously, we don't for runs. But if you turn the invincibility cheat on and you go in the water, I forget whereabouts it is, I think it might be near the castle or somewhere like that, you can drive alongside the edge of the sea, um, and you can actually go into a ghost town. It's, there's videos all over YouTube about it. Really? Um, but yeah, using like an invincibility... Did you not know about this? No, I never, okay, okay. never well, heard of that. But the hell, he's played it. He I just speed run this game. Um, but yeah, so there was like a different... It was slightly different, like a glitched version of Rio. Um, it made... Oh. I think it was... In, like, yeah, all the things are inverted in a way. But yeah, it was very glitchy and weird. Um, definitely have a look at it uh, when you get a chance, but apparently uh, the, only, the, yep. uh, the only way you could do it is with the invincibility cheat. So yeah, we're going to drive onto the ship as it says and uh, set the detonator. So we've got some more high-octane gameplay uh, of on four oh, action. That's a, that's a box. Uh, without hopefully getting killed in the process. Oh, oh that was else. stylish. You also need to get off the boat and you need enough speed to do it. Yep, so that's why I'm driving the car here because I, I just want to have, have, have a room to just drive down and go. There we there go. We go. So there and is, now we wait. We, we can actually mention as well, so after this mission finishes now, also the boat blows up even though it's not there. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Render distance. We mentioned about beta missions and things. There's one that comes up after this. It's not in the actual speed run, but in the alt mod pack it is. Yeah. Uh, and basically you need to drive from, so the, the boat is now obviously exploded. But in this mission that was originally in like the Alpha or something like that, uh, yeah, maybe, it's, think... you have to get from there back to the hotel. The problem, I think, or something around there, like your safe house. The it's... problem is that AI is turned up to 11. So like the cops come at you with like, I think on that particular mission, it's like 100% felony. So they yeah, really start, come at you. You start with max felony. You need to drive the entirety of the town. You start in north, you need to go all the way to south. But that counts, that works. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty rough mission. Yeah. Uh, so, speaking of rush mission, this is a pretty difficult one because it's a long drive and you have barely enough time to make it, even in the speed run, because there's there's one road you need to take to get there and you need to not not get late and not fail it. Uh, thankfully, the game the, the the developer were a bit lenient and decided to limit the cop cars to one again. So, you, you only have to worry about roadblocks, but we you do need to be careful because you are going against uh, in that tunnel we went through earlier with the still the cop car mission. So, I want to limit the uh, the felony so I don't have to deal with roadblocks too. I think we don't start with filming, unlike the uh, cup car mission, so it's a bit easier to uh, drive through there. I think it's worth saying as well, I've seen him a couple of times in chat as well, uh, one of the guys that's also in the driver community, um, quite synonymous okay. actually, synonymous in the Colin McRae community as well, is a guy called Farrod the Capacitor. Yep. Um, also great yeah, runner he's, uh, he's also done runs of this too, so yeah, big, big, big mention goes to him too. He, I think he's currently, oh, yep, that was fine. Uh, I think yes, Grenade still has a worker for like all secret cars because he's actually good at the, uh, the yeah, yeah. Uh, wall clip glitch. What, what? the? Okay. That's that's not how it works, <laughs> my guy. That's not how the rules rules are. Apparently, it does for him. But anyway, yeah. So there's a. Uh, I guess so I'm not, I shouldn't sp uh, speak too much because I'm driving full speed in all lanes. But there you go. Yeah. So one of the things that we do have. So we do have, um, as we, as I was saying before, we have uh, any percent warpless. I am sent with warps. Yeah, just 100%. Uh, really. Each city actually has a warps and warpless category uh, as well. So if you wanted to just attack all the missions individually and in, in the individual cities, you yeah, can do fine. that. Um, but also we have, as Don't we were do saying it. then, Don't do it. Okay. is the uh, all secret cars. Uh, the all secret cars is not really... It's not like a mission or anything like that. You can't. No, really it's do just anything. a challenge. We it was a miscellaneous category. We came up with them. It was like, we, we know where the four cars are. It's not difficult. Um, and yeah. That's intended, that's just slowing down quicker. Yeah. I mean, why not? And yeah, we made it. Okay, now so. the infamous mission of this game, Chase the Gunman. So I'm sure some people who know this game are probably scared. Oh, well, that's a good pattern. That's the first try. But now we just need to not fail it. So I'm going to do this. Just rack up some bit of damage. Then I'm going to cut the corner. Get here. And there you go. 
Simple as that. Hopefully it doesn't bounce me away. And that's nice. the gun then. First nice. try. <laughs> that, is, that is probably by far... Casually, that is probably one of the hardest missions you'll run into. Yeah, yeah. for casual, that mission is hell. But and that's not a joke either. Once so. you know what to do, it's not too bad. Yeah. So at this point now, it's like, oh, it's a bit easier. It's still difficult. No, it's the, not, because we're in hard. <laughs> yeah. I this mean, the mission, last is mission is harder, chaotic. isn't it? No, it's easier. You say it's easier. No, uh, the last mission on the hard difficulty is much easier, honestly. Because uh, it's much easier to keep. So obviously, since the, the police have more help, well, police and chase. Ow! So to kind of sum up what's just happened in like the last minute with <laughs> just completely beating Chase the Gunman like that and Jones and everything. So Jones was in trouble, Vasquez is on to him. We get there, it turns out he's been shot. He's not dead, don't worry. Um, otherwise we won't be in driver three onwards. Yep. Um, but yeah, so he'd been shot um, and we had to obviously chase the Gunman, we did. Um, and then it turns out okay, that well. Jones oh, is out hi there. there. Jones managed to get out of there, luckily. Oh, that was pretty convenient. Uh, oh, Jones time. managed to get out of there, uh, and now we're going to make sure we can take Pink Lenny down. But first of all, we need to uh, pick up Jones. Pick up uh, uh, no Tanner, uh, Jericho. <laughs> you get there. It's a long run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it is a pretty exhausting run because it's pretty much just a mid, an hour twenty of just non-stop. Like, there's no break. There's no like slow moment. It's just mission after mission after mission. There's no like cutscene. You can just watch and wait for a bit. You're just going. Yeah, so now that we've Oops. picked up Jericho, we are now, we've now got Did to that count, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm hung up already. <laughs> it was like that. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, I suppose I did scratch a car. Okay. I, I want to keep my felony as low. Okay. <laughs> how, to, how to tell when uh, someone's struggling? The voice goes really this is, an, uh, this is another long road with no sidewalk. Well, a really crummy sidewalk. And uh, no other, really not a lot of place for the uh, cars to spawn, so... Uh, Space. Yeah. I was kind of stuck there. Dodging the car, the cops are, are, going, are facing you is really hard. They're, if there's one thing that AI is good at, is doing that. They are master at, like, punching you in the face. Oh, really again? Okay, well, what, you just, the... you okay, just got yeah. confused there. Sure. I was gonna say, I've not seen that one before. I just need to get rid of this road, and I... Uh, Oh, whoa! Okay. We got it, we got it. Kind sort of. of. Sir, can oh, you? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, this is getting kind of bad. Speed! Okay, it's fine, 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 it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Don't look at the health. No! Okay, it's fine. It just rubbed me, so it didn't do any damage. No! Don't do it! I dare you! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when the bar starts flashing, is when you're pretty bad. Also, gold. I don't know if it's supposed to be a volleyball net or like a soccer oh. goal. Uh, I just don't know what it is, but it looks like a soccer goal, so it's definitely not a hockey net, that's for sure. God, now he's the one that's leaving. Please go it. away soon. Hey, there we go. Oh, there we go, okay. <laughs> it's not over yet. No, I can still beans the car, but I'm gonna take this corner really slow. There you go, you lost him. I'm slowed way down there. And well done. Hey! Skinny your teeth. <laughs> and, and, and into the helicopter for good measure. Right. So, this is, funny enough, the hardest mission of the game for speedrun and for ca casual. Uh, why? Because uh, this looks pretty simple. Oh, just chase the helicopter. There's only one pattern, so you can just learn it. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of an issue by the end. Uh, they obviously didn't, the helicopter's gonna crash, spoiler alert. Um, but they, I guess they didn't have a way to like make the model actually like, change for a crash, so they decided to like hide it, hide the helicopter. And so when you get to the crash site, there's just a crashed helicopter waiting for you. Unfortunately, the solution for not hiding the helicopter is just speeding it up out of your view. You can probably guess the issue where the mission is to follow the helicopter. You can easily just fail the mission by the end because the helicopter goes too quick. Uh, sir, I need to move. Okay, this is pretty bad. I kind of want to reset. I am going to reset actually because this, this is actually enough to fail a mission. You need to be, you need to get to the final world at the same time as the helicopter else you will fail the mission right at the end. The helicopter will speed up enough to uh, lose you. And you can probably guess once you're uh, when you're you just done a full run and you're at this mission, yeah, it's a bit nerve-wracking to know that you can just fail a mission like 
Not just fail the trick, just fail the mission straight up. I mean, it's nerve-wracking whether you play warpless or with warps, to be honest, because you have to do... Yeah, it's the same It's the same it's, mission. Yeah. Like, any percent or war, the or, or warpless category is the same. Uh, like, the, the mission themselves, you do the exact same thing. You just do less mission in any percent. Okay, let's do that again. I'm, I'm slowing down here, because as you can see, I'm way ahead of the helicopter. I can't lose the helicopter by two ahead, obviously, because it's just distance-based, so... Now, we're missing one guy. Well, Where is he? I don't know if you want to slow down. <laughs> okay, that's a good spawn. Well, he spawned away. Uh, but yeah, that, the reason I say this is actually easier on, on the hard difficulty is that these guys have more health, so they stay behind you longer. So that means you have less uh, left enemies to dodge. Uh, oh, oh no, that's the worst. No, that actually play. that's good because he's just rubbed the walls and kind of gets stuck. Okay, I, I, us I usually joke that you have a voucher for one free crash in this mission. You're like you can crash once, depending on the crash. Like the crash we just had earlier, that was too bad. So that was way too much for uh, the mission. It's here, it's, it's here. This bit, this yep. is the bit. Okay, where are you? Okay, he's got stuck on the wall, so I can just do that. So, there's one that can spawn in again. But we're getting near the end. It's probably going to be on this road, honestly, so... Unless he spawns, like, on the road after. Nope. Oh, wow, okay, the two, you got two for the price of one, though. There we go, and we're fine, we won. Because <laughs> the, the, the save zone starts here. But this is the road I mentioned. Like, this went pretty well, but you'll see the speed the helicopter is going to go. Yeah, if you get behind here, you really have to, like, fit through these gaps at 100 miles an hour. It's just insanely like, difficult. You see, it's catching me pretty quickly, and it's coming way faster than I'm driving. Like, it's already over me. Like, if you're, if you're behind, you're just going to fail there. Like, you're going to fail a mission. And get ready. Time! <laughs> Probably show the end as well. For good measure. Sorry? Probably show the end if we go past Yeah, sure, we can go. 1.416, that's really good. Because we played on hard difficulty, that's really, really good. You know the worst bit is that beats my PB that I did two years ago. <laughs> I don't know if I should be impressed or upset. Uh, a bit of both, maybe. <laughs> I'm I, just speed running, you'll be I've better. I've got a lot of uh, Im improvements to make, to be fair. But yeah. Uh, yeah, well, thank you very much for letting me uh, showcase this. This was a riot play. Uh, thank you very much for the audience. Uh, what was the final count? Uh, I want to know. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fair enough. So, all right. okay, that's fair. So, under twenty-six dollars for charity. Well, it's a good cause. So, well, if you are making that donation of one hundred and twenty-six dollars to charity, that means that we will actually go over fifty thousand dollars raised for Alzheimer Fund. <laughs> Let me grab my phone. I'll pull it off quickly. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I need to find a link. Uh, we, 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 we won't force uh, yeah, yeah. you to do it on <laughs> stream. Right, it's no. okay. Well, it's right fine. I'll, it'll be done. I'll make sure that the my details. But we'll make sure that we give a <laughs> big cheer when we hit that fifty thousand mark. Thank you so uh, that's much. That's copyright music. That's copyright music. Okay, yeah, fine. I was gonna say, yeah, we need, yeah, we have to skip. It's okay, the run's over actually. now. We, we can mute this part in the. Yeah, that's fair. Fine. Okay, uh, hold on. So, oh, I think a few closing thoughts is, yeah. So, yeah, go ahead. You, I'm gonna do that. If you do want to uh, run driver two, I know it seems like the hardest game in the world, but then again, it wasn't the hardest difficulty. So there you go. Yeah, usually it's going to be less bad than that because I did the worst version of playing on uh, hard difficulty, which, funny enough, I learned. About an hour before doing the run that I was doing on hard, I didn't know that the incentive got met, so... Yeah. Uh, that was a good thing to learn at the end. That was a $1,000 incentive. Yeah, well. I didn't know People about that. really wanted to see. I didn't know about it, I learned it after. But uh, either way, yeah. Um, so, the driver okay. Discord does exist. There's a driver Madness Discord, but there's a driver speedrunning Discord, if you're interested in running any of the driver games. Obviously, if you want to learn any of them, then obviously that is the place to be. Uh, in terms of Driver 2, as we said, there are the Warpless category, there is the Warps category. Each of the cities does have their own individual speedrun category. Yeah. All right, thank you. Um, as well, if you want to do that. And all bonus cards is actually quite relaxing. So if you wanted to try something where you wouldn't have to worry too much, it's just doing the bonus cards. But again, that's if you're kind of in the mood of, I don't want to attack the main game, I just want to attack the other game, like the other part of the game. So, yeah. Um, and obviously, I think what's quite synonymous with this game more than anything else, same with Driver 1, is obviously survival. So, um, yeah, oh, there's no speed run for that. Do well, I, I mean, you have to survive, but what? I'm still be doing this, so <laughs> you, sh you showcase survival and fun. I mean, the game will play itself. I just have to hit this. There you go. I'll let the game show well, can, itself. Oh, right, true. 
The game can do itself. So these cops come at you at 100 miles yeah. an hour. This is this is without touching the controller. This the way, is what they do. When I mentioned, like, you know, all oh, the cops were sort of slow down even at Max Felony. Uh, in survival, they don't. They go at double speed the whole way. And yeah. they do not stop. So 13... So if you leave it... Uh, so where it is right now, it's 1316. If you leave it, watch this. It does the exact same again. I actually did this a couple of times in stream the other day. So 1316, it should tie it. Theoretically. Okay. Car's still there. 1316, again. It's it's exactly 1316. It's like the police are always made to do that. But yeah, so that is the, uh, the survival. Uh, you can actually do survival with invincibility cheats. But yeah, then what's that, the point? That actually, uh, unfortunately, that defies the point. Um, the only way you can actually beat a survival mode or even, well, yeah, any sort of survival with the invincibility cheat is to have your car flipped over, which, um, truth be told, it took me nearly 15 minutes to get wrecked in survival without with invincibility. So, yeah, and that was without even, like, doing anything. The cops just fired me everywhere. Uh, eventually, the car flipped upside down after 15 minutes. So, yeah, but obviously, without the cheat, you can see 13 seconds. I think it goes quicker in, like, Vegas or something? I could be wrong. Uh, maybe. Well, I guess Where? we'll find out. Four cops, why not? I yeah. love the, the yeah. stalling for content here. This is good. <laughs> yep, keep, okay, keep talking. It's fine. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly I'm done. I'm determined that Stream 2 should be the ones to take us over the 50k I'm going to I'm pull off. It's coming soon. There you go. Okay, 15 uh, seconds? Uh, okay. No, this one was last. Make than a that. donation. Wait, which one's the I one? I said make a donation. Chicago, maybe? Might be Chicago. I can't remember. This is definitely 10 out of 10 game. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey! It gets chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> this is the reason why survival is the, play, the bit that everybody plays. The problem is, so the quick replay doesn't actually work properly. That's the only downside, I think. Or oh, is it real? Maybe real. Maybe real. I could be wrong. They're coming. No, okay, no. You no, get, real you is less chaotic. Time, you get more time in real. Uh, alright. Actually, Volt starts being... Okay, it's it's completed. So all the main things... We wait for the system to pick it up. Uh, I, did it work? That's right, it does take a few seconds. Is this the point that my bank blocked my car because they're worried I'm getting scared? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think it worked. Yeah, it does take you can a few literally moments just sit here for the like system this. to pick it up. In oh, maybe not. Okay, well, I'll take that back. Oop. Well, <laughs> we're flying. We're flying. Yeah, you're gonna fly a lot in this game mode. Yeah, normally, so where if you get onto the top of them stairs, that we really are flying. God damn. Okay, there we go. Um, it should have gone through. Sure. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I guess I can showcase. The console get wrecked though. There it is. Hey! We have hit fifty thousand hey! dollars raised for Alzheimer Fonden. And uh, a surprise donation there from uh, the survivor for one hundred twenty-six dollars, <laughs> who says, as promised, a dollar per crash. Thank you so much. Unless you have any last moment things to do, um, we are going to wrap it up here. I think the only thing I can say is thank you again, everyone here, to uh, let me play this. Uh, thank you for the driver committee. And thank you to you, Viper, for coming here when with me to uh, commentate this. Uh, thank you for Soapy for making this port and. Yeah, that's about it. So if you like this game, if you want to get into speedrun, come to the Discord. We're more happy to help you start this madness. But yeah, thanks for watching. And here's the next one is Descent, if I recall, correct? It is, yes. We will be coming back after a very short intermission. Thank you, The Survivor, and thank you, Viper. We'll see you guys very shortly.